My name is Arturo de los Anne from the Department of Molecular, Cell, and Developmental Biology. One of the most fundamental properties of all living organisms is their ability to generate new copies of themselves. That's true from large animals to small single-cell organisms. The process of mitosis is a process whereby you generate two individual daughter cells from one single mother cell. This process is, if you will, one of the most dangerous times in the life of the cell because the chromosomes are going to have to be moved around inside the cytoplasm. And when this happens in an inappropriate way, it can lead to defects such as cancer or other genetic abnormalities. So understanding the process of mitosis is a very important step in cell biology. To accomplish mitosis, of course, the DNA of each cell had to be already been replicated before during the time of the cell cycle called S phase. The goal of mitosis is going to be to separate each of those copies in, from one single nucleus into two separate daughter nuclei for the daughter cells. Imagine the difficulty of accomplishing that in a human cell where we have 46 individual chromosomes, each of which had to be replicated and had a copy. So a cell has to be able to separate each of the 46 copies in the correct way. To accomplish this, cells recruit one of the cytoskeletal elements that you already know about, the microtubule cytoskeleton. Instead of having the vast array of microtubules that you find during interphase that transports organelles throughout the cell, during mitosis the microtubules are completely reorganized to form a symmetrical structure called the mitotic spindle. The function of this mitotic spindle is to capture and move around the chromosomes inside the dividing cell. The chromosomes are condensed, compacted, captured by the microtubules and moved to the center of the cell during metaphase. When every chromosome is properly aligned in metaphase, then the chromosomes will begin to move apart from each other by, driven by the movement of the microtubules. Once the chromosomes are apart, the cytoplasm has to be divided into two separate cytoplasms. This step is accomplished by a separate cytoskeletal element, in this case, the actin cytoskeleton. The actin cytoskeleton builds a belt around the equatorial area of the mother cell and then constricts that mother cell cytoplasm in such a way that eventually the mother cell is split into two separate daughter cells.